Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My manual discrepancy rear shock shim issue is solved. Alright, we're clocking in here at 102 degrees at 7 o'clock at night. We got our little, uh, well, it's not so little, but a uh, nice little swamp cooler going on, which I have off so you can hear me. But let me take you to what's going on. So I started putting all this stuff together, and it wasn't lining up, and the instructions weren't, weren't uh, following with the parts that I had. Now, what was interesting is here's one of my inventory sheets. Um, the actual inventory sheet is correct but the instructions in the manual was not matching the inventory sheet. So what I found out was this area here is not where you bolt the shocks. It's actually this next area here. So maybe with a three link or, you know, the independent suspension or whatever, uh, you use this other area or maybe it's for something else. But the old version one, I don't think had this extra extra area. And so the manual doesn't really line up to uh, version 2 yet. So I have these spacers that I'm going to use. And as you can see, my spacers weren't working in this gap. But this gap is smaller, so it's going to work fine. Um, then I think I showed you the modifications that I did here. So this is clearing now. So I don't have any issues with that clearing. So that's great. And uh, we are going to give it a shot and try to get some of this bolted up. Probably not everything, because now that I've actually modified this piece, I'm probably going to repaint it. And then, instead of this just being raw aluminum for my lower control arms, I'm probably going to spray it gray and seal it, so at least it doesn't corrode or whatever. I know it's aluminum, it's not going to corrode fast by any means, but I'd rather uh, just seal it up and have it fully 100% ready to go. And then it matches the car and I don't have a lot of different things. Uh, different colors. This chrome piece, you know, I already filled this thing and uh, I don't feel like really taking it off and respraying it. Maybe I will in the future, but for right now, I'm going to let that go. I also have a chrome steering wheel for this car, which maybe if I had to do it over, I would actually spray so it matches the car. So I want to have a few chrome things in the car and we'll see if it all works. And plus, I'm not sure how much of the rear end you're going to see once it's built anyways, because the back end's pretty big. Um, but, uh, but we'll see. So we're going to give it a shot and see what we could do today. So what I thought would take me like five, 10 minutes to like figure out and pop it all together actually took me about an hour and a half because it was still a little tight and I had to shave down some shims and stuff like that. But all is well, I got everything connected. Things are happening now. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the notification buttons below and have a great day.